guys, John Bucket here. Today we are uh, got a little video for you. We're going out about an hour away to pick up a 70 or 71. I think it's a 70. A 1970 Le Mans for Mitch's, it's like a parts car, it's complete. So it has all that chrome he needs and interior. So we're gonna film loading that up, picking it up, and then we're gonna kind of do a little walk around. It's rusty, but it's a parts car. So we'll show you all the good parts it has. And uh, yeah, if Mitch has anything he wants to add to that, cause it's his car, he'll let you know. Yeah, no, I'll just, uh, I'll show you guys when we get there. Oh All right, guys, here we go. This is the Le Mans we're picking up here. So, yeah, as you can see, pretty complete car. Some clips in decent shape, dude. Yeah, it's got a full interior. This is just going to be a parts car for the, for the other one I'm doing because it's got a better body. It should be a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, Pontiac 350 in her. Oh, dude, that's a nice intake. It's a valley. Mm hmm. So. The carbs on, have you left? No idea. It's a little two barrel. So, yeah, that's just it. We're going to load her up, guys. All right, guys, we uh, got the Le Mans loaded there. Actually went pretty smoothly, so that's good. She's she's in decent, it has a good interior. We'll show you the interior. It's the car, as you can see, this is why it's for parts. It's, it's quite rusty, so it's best due as a parts car, so no one get upset. There's like some rivets here and shit. And, it's, and like, yeah, so it, the body is in bad shape. But the interior, I think the door's locked. Oh, it's open, Kit. See, it's got it's got a nice interior. It's brown. The door panels are brown. I'm not sure if that's to match the red or if that's after. But still, it's got a full interior, back seat, headliner, shifter, buckets, console. It's all there. And his other Le Mans has no interior, so like this is pretty good, pretty good alternative. So two cars out of one, hopefully. So there'll be a build series out on uh, his Le Mans here, so, and it should be a good series. He's just strapping the trunk down right now. And uh, it's pretty quiet. I don't know if he's expecting a better car or something, but here's what it is. We'll get back to you guys with an update in a bit. All right, guys, uh, we got the Le Mans here. We're at Mitch's house right now, and yeah, he's just trying to fire old Yeller up here. It's a beauty. Custom, custom deluxe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Motor truck there. Thing's pretty sweet, so he's gonna pull it ahead so we can unload the little mons here and maybe we'll do another quick little time lapse of us unloading it. <laughs> that was a good tractor lapse. It's a mean machine. Oh yeah. Hope I don't stall it. Old truck's fucking eight. It's 
guy, this guy can't drive manual. E brake on. He wants to move. It's a super, it's a super tall foot. Oh, 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 he kills it. He's a stall boy. Oh, well, he his his Mustang's automatic, so he doesn't really know how to drive manual. Oh, oh, he's a stall boy. Pop the clutch out, bomb starter. Ting, 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 ting. Oh. There you go. Oh, 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 yeah. Laying down rubber. That's probably good. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, so it's all, all right. unloaded here. Minor, minor hiccups. Old Yeller doesn't like me going in forward in it, but in reverse, didn't stall her. Yeah. So it is not, what it is. Not used to it. it is, it's all good. So basically, we're just going to be highlighting the goods, the good, and the bads of the car. Yeah. So we'll start with the goods because it's a little quicker. Um, so I needed, I, I needed mirrors. This car has both mirrors intact. Yes, they need to be painted. Um, but the glass is good on them. Yep. Yeah. So that's a positive. So can't open the door but I'll show them here so you guys you guys probably saw it earlier so we have buckets and console which I do not have for the other car I could not find seat rails to mount up even aftermarkets or anything anywhere for this um, I might I'm gonna use that wood grain dash um, I'm gonna get a different dash pad though um, the rear seats I don't know um, the the white leather ones in it right now are in pretty good condition these door cards they're brown they don't match so we're gonna have to figure something out there. Looks like these seats had the foam replaced or something. Yeah, they might have. So yeah, there's that's basically why I bought the car. And then we have well, there's still well, you got like the trim, chrome trim. Yeah, the glass is all good on the car except for the windshield. Yeah, the, the east troughing's all there. I already have the rear window trim. I bought it off this car before I bought the actual car. A uh, nice uh trim around the windshield. Yeah, windshield. This door is actually in yeah, it's actually in not bad of shape. Um, I need these handles. The other ones on my car got painted. Um, okay, should we start going over the, the knots? Of well, no, there's still, so this hood. Oh yeah, it's still good. The hood on this, yes, she has some rust holes. I'm gonna fix this because the other one has a huge hole cut in it from that hood scoop. Yeah. Um, this front grill, she's dirty right now because we just trailered at home. But, but it's, it's, it's in good shape. It's in good shape. Like none of the fins are broken. She's a couple dents, but that'll pull out pretty easy. Yeah. It's gonna need to get re-chromed, but like, it is what it is. He's gonna do the car right. Um, front fenders are, they're yeah, they're not too good. No. <laughs> um, and then solid roof. If I needed a roof. <laughs> you need a roof? No, I don't. I just said if I did. Right, um, this trunk, it's not really in any better condition than the one I have right now. Um, some rust right here, and it's bubbling in some spots. Uh, we have a mouse animal nest i'm gonna call it yeah, a yeah animal nest and there. there's nothing really ounce in here that i really need um this the rear bumper on the other car is better this one's all banged up um the yeah. bad there's a lot yeah, <laughs> this is a parts car i never bought this intending to put it back on the road right like this is just a parts car so you can see right there cool. rust look at this guy rust look rust this is what the bottom of the quarter panels made out of so that is like a fiberglass full of bondo mm -hmm. so if you go under here well here's the here is a piece of it and like if you guys look she's on there though but yeah it's so like this is this is all bondo you can see these cracks like this is all bondo so like this is a terrible like just like a hack job of a body body shop got a hold of this yeah and then there's there's a chicken wire on the on the left front fender or right front fender there yeah, this rocker's completely gone too on this side. It's it's rusty. Even by Canadian standards, it's pretty rusty. 
But like I said, yeah, rear glasses, like glass is good. Windshields, you can get them actually anywhere. So windshields aren't a big deal. But and you gotta look, they're sheet metal. You need this part of the fender, we'll cut her out and like that, so. Yeah, so. We're, we're gonna get videos out now though, cause now he has parts and like he can kind of do something. Cause before he was just sanded and he sanded his two quarter panels, which are getting cut out anyways. So now we'll have some guidance. We got everything to swap over. It's gonna be a lot of work, but. It'll be a cool car when it's done.